Hello guys, welcome to the new video, with new news in the crypto world, the new year holidays are coming, and before that we wish you a happy new year 2024 and good luck in the next year in the crypto world. Now let's start with the situation in the crypto world, after a big drop in the price of BTC from $44,700 to $40,000 and now the price has returned to $44,434 and stabilized there, I think we are continuing in the bull run market. Better days are clearly looming for the crypto world, I informed you about that in the last video, that we are close to the bull run, but you should still be very careful with investing in real coins. The real bull marker will start after the Bitcoin halving, which is on April 23, 2024. In this video, we describe the work of the RX 6700 XT graphics card in the Hibios system. There is also optimistic news from BlackRock as the largest investment fund. Very interesting coins for investment for me are Carlson, Alephium, Dinix, and Nexacoin, for me they are favorites for the next bull run. All those coins can be mined and thus more available. Let me encourage you to leave a like and subscribe and join this channel to help make this channel even better. If you can, with a minimum payment and overpayment, you can help this channel in these difficult days. I hope you are not bored, but now is the time when coins are collected and sold afterwards in the bull market. It is a real chance to buy altcoins, when their price has fallen. This video explains mining with RX 6700 XT graphics card from AMD, which we do in HiveOS system with Miner LOL Miner 1.82A for Carlson coin, currently very popular mining coin. The price of Carlson coin is 2 cents with a falling tendency and a jump in the weight of the coin, you should collect coins and wait for a jump in the price of the coin. There are assumptions that Carlson can go up to 50x in the bull run and with a very low price there is a lot of room for growth. Carlson Network and the Carlson Coin, KLS, is a new project that is forked from Caspa, KAS, with a modified proof-of-work algorithm called Carlson Hash that prevents KAS ASICs from mining the coin. The project is still new and early and not much information is available, so you should treat with caution as always and if installing a local wallet and node you should do it in a sandbox environment just to be on the safe side. The project has caught a lot of attention from crypto miners and a lot of GPU mining power is being sent over to mine KLS coins, 50 coins per block with 1 second block time. There are still no exchanges available with support for KLS, but you can mine with a local node and wallet and there are already pools supporting Carlson network mining popping up like Hero Miners. Why did we fork? Caspa is a gem. We want to rely on small miners instead of big farms for a better decentralization. Current Caspa ASICs are not compatible with Carlson and we will enforce this resistance in the roadmap. Our next motivation is to work on tokens integration, ec 20 equivalent, on the network. White paper incoming the latest version of LOL Miner 1.82. has added support for mining KLS coins with the new algorithm, 1% dev fee, and you can use the same settings you used for KAS mining on your GPUs. Below you can find a quick guide that we've prepared on how to set up a local Carlson network node and create a local wallet that you can mine KLS coins to if you are interested in getting started with mining. Carlson network is a community-driven, ASIC-resistant fork of the Caspa coin. It focuses on decentralization by supporting small miners and plans to integrate token functionality similar to ERC-20. The project, which avoids ICOs and pre-mines, aims to build a strong community and network. The Carlson Network and Carlson Coin are currently one of the most profitable cryptos to mine in GPU. Carlson Crypto came out of nowhere and immediately saw millions of dollars in volume on Tradeover. Carlson is a fork of Caspa on the Blake algorithm. It claims to be ASIC resistant. The price of dollar KLS rose to over 2 cents and although the price has come down considerably, it is still one of the most profitable crypto coins to mine on GPU. But as always, never invest more than you are willing to lose. Happy mining, peace. News from Coindesk. Final Bitcoin ETF application filings get posted by major US exchanges. Releasing them suggests they're confident the SEC will approve the first US spot Bitcoin ETF soon. US spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds, ETFs, appear to be on the verge of launching after the exchanges that will list them filed amended documents, suggesting they expect U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission approval in the coming days. The amended 19B4 filings, filed on behalf of BlackRock, Grayscale, Fidelity and other issuers, join last month's amended S1 filings, addressing feedback from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. 
More than a dozen applicants hope to launch the first spot Bitcoin ETFs in the US, it's likely multiple issuers will be approved simultaneously. Individuals at two different issuers told Coindesk on Thursday that their companies anticipate approvals sometime next week. One of the individuals told Coindesk that filing the amendments did not mean approvals were guaranteed but said they were optimistic. A final deadline for SEC action for at least one application, by ARC21 shares, is January 10, suggesting the regulator may approve all of the final applications it is comfortable with by that date. This filing is another important step towards listing GBTC as a spot Bitcoin ETF, Grayscale spokeswoman Jen Rosenthal said in a statement, referring to the company's Bitcoin trust that it wants to turn into an ETF. At Grayscale, we continue to work collaboratively with the SEC, and we remain ready to operate GBTC as an ETF upon receipt of regulatory approvals. Earlier Friday, Bloomberg reported that the SEC's commissioners were expected to vote on the exchange rule filings next week. The regulatory agency needs to approve both the 19B4 filings and the S1 filings before the ETFs can be launched. Arthur Hayes foresees 30% Bitcoin crash amid vicious washout. Here's why. Markets may revive last year's U.S. banking crisis as a crucial funding program is set to expire, Hayes said. Depletion of the Fed's reverse repo program and expiry of a crucial funding facility for troubled banks may trigger a market crash in March and force the Fed to cut interest rates, Maelstrom CIO Arthur Hayes said. Bitcoin could plunge 20% to 30% in the route but would quickly rebound, Hayes predicted. While crypto investors are fixated on an imminent spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund, ETF, decision that could propel BTC's price even higher, Arthur Hayes, the chief investment officer of Family Office Maelstrom and the ex-CEO of BitMEX, warned about a potential 20 to 30% plunge in the next few months. In a Friday blog post, Hayes outlined looming risks for the U.S. banks and markets potentially colliding in March and triggering a liquidity rug pull event akin to the banking crisis last March. I am preparing for a vicious washout of all the crypto tourists in March of this year, he wrote. I loaded up on crypto in the second half of 2023, and I believe now until April is a no-trade zone in terms of the addition of risk. Crypto liquidity rug pull. The drawdown of the Federal Reserve's reverse repo program, RRP, where qualified banks and investment firms may park cash and earn interest on it, served as a tailwind for risky assets through last year, injecting capital into markets as participants took out cash from the facility and invested. However, the RRP balance is quickly declining, dropping to $700 billion from a record high of $2.5 trillion at the end of 2022 and Hayes is projecting it to reach its historical average of $200 billion by around March. When this number gets close to zero, the market will wonder what is next, he said. Without any other new sources of dollar liquidity, bonds, stocks, and I believe crypto will also get the stick. Second, a crucial Fed facility called the Bank Term Funding Program, BTFP, that helped stave off last year's regional banking crisis is set to expire on March 12 with the potential to create turbulence in the banking system. The BTFP provided banks with funding to fulfill deposit withdrawals by lending them money at the notional value of their U.S. government bond holdings, at much better conditions than selling bonds on the open market at a loss due to the Fed's aggressive rate hikes. Hayes expects that the facility won't be extended during this U.S. presidential election year, which could bankrupt some banks who sit on massive unrealized losses on their bond holdings. What's next for Bitcoin's price? If this scenario plays out as Hayes outlined, Bitcoin, BTC, will correct a healthy 20% to 30% from early March prices, according to the blog post. The decline could be as much as 40% if BTC rallies to $60,000 to $70,000 in the coming weeks, he wrote. Bitcoin initially will decline sharply with the broader financial markets but will rebound before the Fed meeting, Hayes said. That is because Bitcoin is the only neutral reserve hard currency that is not a liability of the banking system and is traded globally. Hayes joined a roster of crypto analysts who recently forecasted a correction for crypto markets. CryptoQuant said that a spot-based ETF approval would be a sell-the-news event and BTC could drop to $32,000, while K33 Research suggested Finally, I can tell you that this RX 6700 XT graphics card has shown excellent performance in Carlson coin mining and is one of the main contenders for the best graphics card for Carlson coins. Carlson is an easier coin to mine compared to Nexacoin and therefore the electricity consumption is less compared to Nexacoin.
A hash rate of 460 mh and a consumption of 30w is correct, but we should wait for the price of the coin to jump, but we should not forget that the weight of the coin will also jump. AMD graphics card that comes with Micron memory, newer generation with excellent performance and low power consumption and excellent hash rate. We were able to tune Hivios to reduce power consumption while still maintaining a good hash rate. By the way, the RX 6700 XT has the ability to enable it. Happy New Year 2024!